Lake Manawa State Park is a popular recreation area for boating, swimming, and even camping. And later this year, contractors will rehabilitate part of the lake to make it better for the environment and users. A presentation at the Western Historic Trail Center May 7th shows the public how, when, and what will be done. Lake Manawa is one of the busiest state parks in the metro, but a major problem is holding it back from its full potential. One of the problems Lake Manawa has had over quite a few years now is poor water quality. Chris Larson with the Iowa DNR says excess algae and turbidity or cloudiness in the water are the causes for the water's bad quality. The sources of those are mostly what's coming into Manawa, but also what's in the lake. With no outlet for nutrients and sediments, such as phosphorus to leave the lake, it continues to build up at the bottom. And that's probably 60% of the problem. However, most of that phosphorus is coming from a different water source. Lake Manawa is kind of a perched lake. It sits above the, the water table around the area and everything flows downstream, so there's water constantly leaving Manawa through the bottom, through some sand and gravel veins, and it's always been that way. So we have to pull a lot of water off of Mosquito Creek to keep water levels stable. The DNR brought in FIRA Engineering to do a study on different ways to reduce the algae and murky appearance at Lake Manawa. We need to do two things. Uh, number one, clean up the water that's coming in from the watershed, but also to by dredging Lake Manawa, we create extra depth there that allows us to um, dilute some of the pollutants that are there more often and, and uh, eliminate some of the resuspension of materials that occur on Lake Manawa with the wind and the boating activities. The first effort in cleaning the lake is to dredge 500,000 cubic yards south of the land that comes down in the middle of the lake. That's where the, the depth of clay above the sands that we're looking for to dredge uh, that's where the, that's thinnest, so it allows us to get to the target, what we call the targeted sands, uh, a lot easier. Contractors will remove some of the sand, which will help with the restoration of Lake Manawa. We not only want to deepen the lake to try and stabilize the water quality and, and improve the water quality, we also want to provide some fishing habitat if we can. With better fishing, cleaner water, and more of it, Lake Manawa will be an even better place for recreation. Mike Sotak estimates the cost of dredging the central part of the lake at three to five million dollars. Bids will go out this summer and the work will begin sometime in September, depending on the dredging contractors. This is the initial stage of what is expected to be a 20 million dollar project. Chris Larson also notes they're not at the point where the fish will be affected.